and Sneha, uh, if I can go across to you, you're actually in Kanoo. Now, this is the stronghold of uh, the Chief Minister, Pinaray Vijayan, and of course, uh, he also, after the campaign, had corona. He's recovered, so did a senior Congress leader, Uman Chandi. So in Kerala, which is seeing a huge outbreak as well, though, of course, uh, the health uh, infrastructure amongst uh, the best in India, what exactly are voters looking at when they voted? I mean, one of the argument often has been that for Indian, uh, for India, public health has never been on the political agenda because voters aren't voting on this. Is this, is this different in Kerala? Or do you think that the corona pandemic is something that voters are looking at when they're voting for leaders? Well, Sonia, in fact, uh COVID-19 and the way the situation was handled is definitely one of the things that the voters had in their mind. And perhaps the way the left responded to the crisis uh, is what the left also claims is going to be their peg to victory. The UDF, of course, that has leveled a lot of allegations against the left government saying that there's lots left to be done. But we're coming to you from Talasheri in Kano district. This is the hospital behind me where a lot of COVID patients have been admitted. And I'm going to get you a sense from some of the ambulance drivers who have been driving these COVID patients. And while you may not be seeing scenes where people are desperate to get inside a hospital, collecting outside a hospital, um, uh, desperate to get beds, but situation is changing gradually. And that's the challenge that any, if a camera person can move from the road, that's a challenge that any political party that wins is going to be jumping into literally. Joining us right now are two ambulance drivers. He drives for government ambulance, he for a charity society. If you have COVID patients, you will not be able to get to the beds and beds. In the hospital, there is a lot of air in the hospital. The hospital is very low. In the government hospital, there is a lot of air in the COVID hospital. There is a lot of air in the bed. So he is saying it's difficult. ICU provisions are relatively lesser. Right now, the government hospital has been stepped up. There's more facility which is being prepared there. Karin, you are a archer, run the archer. What do you think about the ambulance drivers? I think it's a patient who has been in a hospital and has been in a hospital. It's not 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 a hospital. Apo orang hospital ni sahaja nama lor orang hospital lagi sahaja nak jodi kan dua beranak ni sahaja nak kundur. Ada beli cuci jodi kan dah macam ni lah. Ipa? Ipa tu kalau ada orang hospital ni shift dia, bos sahaja na, anda orang kanur jila movie ni hospital ni bed dan dua ni jodi sini tu panom shift dia ni. Kita kan dua? Beri ke? Kita ni lah. Adik abor betul abor mana kita kita ni lah. Right. So he's saying it's not like what it was earlier. Earlier you would just call a hospital, beds would be available and they would take the patients there. But now you have to call hospitals after hospitals after hospitals to try and find out where the bed is. So that literally shows us and gives a sense of what the spread of COVID-19 has been and just how stretched the resources are. And we'll try and get you more voices on the ground, Sonia. But of course, it's a do or die battle for the left uh, or for the, Cong uh, for the Congress led alliance. But the fact remains, whoever comes to power, it's literally this reality that they have to deal with, uh, where people now are desperately looking for beds and hospitals. Of course, a lot of measures taken place to ramp up the facilities in the hospital. Several key government hospitals has, have looked at doubling their bed capacity. But would that suffice in days to come? The test positivity rate in Kerala is above 24%. And that is a red warning. Of course, next one week, starting 4th to 9th, is going to be, again, strict restrictions. Um, if, you, if I can give you a sense, of course, it's too early for these shops to open. But we were here mm -hmm. yesterday as well. And all of these shops have been completely closed uh, all through the day, uh, except for the essentials, which is the medical shops and some other places. So that also gives you a sense of what Kerala is looking at.